All right, getting into Grand Finals. Jules has been playing Bayonetta pretty much the entire day. But it is Amarx who has taken the first stock. We did see this matchup earlier where Jules would take any chance that she got to just push, just kind of nudge Amarx into a position where uh, Mid Min is not able to recover. So I'm sure that's what uh, she's going to keep trying to do. Uh, she was also finding super early kills off the top, but I don't think we're going to see that on PS2. Well, PS2 has kind of a lower uh, ceiling, but but uh, the sides are kind of big, so a little bit harder for Banna, Banna to kill, I think. Taking Amarks for a ride. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 menu music style. But Amarks able to get back. The lead has all but evaporated, though. Whoa! The jump actually kind of avoiding it, but Jules sticking the landing there. And in fact, Amarks push way too far off to be able to recover. Up smash, not going to kill. DI is very good for Jules there. A marks lets another up smash rip, but not able to find it. Jules was looking to end it all right there. Master Core knows what I'm talking about. A marks sinks to the bottom of the ocean as if mobsters have tied cement to his feet. And game one goes to Jules. I don't think we're going to see any different characters from either of these players. That is true. I saw, I've seen, um, I've seen Pancake mix out a few times. And he's mentioned you a couple times, Treehouse. I think he, I, I believe he attributes you as to getting him either into Smash or back into Smash. I do not recall the story, but that's going to be a super early stock from Jules. Not even 20 seconds has gone by, and she finds the Bayonetta kill off the side. That was that should have been a freebie for Amarx, I think. The, the heel slide into the shield, but Amarx attacks in the wrong direction. Uh, is this going to be another kill? Yeah, it sure is. Less than a minute. In fact, about 45 seconds. Jules finds two stocks. These heal slides into Amarx's shield. Amarx just is not getting enough out of them. These should be uh, either grabbed or Mega Wasp or something, in my opinion. Could just power up the arms with them. But, not finding it. Jules is just doing an excellent job finding these early kills. Something that I think she excels in. Understanding her character's uh, power to uh, use some bullshit, in my opinion, uh, is an excellent ability to have as a player. And Jules, not only extremely strong fundamentals and understanding of the game, but understands her ability to tap into uh, the cower the character's power to uh, just straight up kill your opponent with some silly things. Amarx, however, finds a stock. If there's a will, there's a way. Amarx has a will. Okay, Jules. Thought maybe trapped under PS2, but no, she's able to get back. Amarx has the powered up arms. Every time you grab with Amar, uh, with Min Min, you do have flames on those arms. They get a little bit of extra juice. <laughs> Amar's just kind of running around on the ground while Jewel stays in the air. 
Jules looking for another early kill. That's a lot of what she's been getting on Amar. Not going to find it. In fact, the Megawatt is going to take it down to last stock, but catching very high. Not able to finish it off, though. DI looked good. SDI looked good from Amarx. Able to get out of that bail. Um, APK. But the afterburner kick hits that time. Going to find the back air. Amarx back on stage, though. Witch twist into ABK. Again, falling out is Amarx. Okay, finds a down smash. At least that's something. Amarx was turned kind of in the wrong direction to get a big punish, but at least he's finding something out of shield against the heal slide. Going to look for the back air. Not enough to kill. No shots. Amarx finds the grab. It's the back throw. Jules goes low to avoid the dragon laser. But the back air is going to catch. Jules goes up 2-1. to one. Amarx almost scraped himself back into this set. But Jules, who if I check bracket, has only dropped one... No, has dropped two games today. Lost the game to Nasty Zard uh, in winner's round three. Then lost one game of randoms to Justice. I don't know who the characters were. But did win the set against Amarx in winner's finals, 3-0. And is going to try and do it again here in Grand. All Bayonetta versus Min Min. Amarx, though, did almost put himself on the board. Still operating on a dream. It's a fourth throw. Whoa. I think that was going to be a heel slide there from Jules. It looked like the animation was just starting, and then it was just a second grab in a row from Amarx. Sometimes if you do the same thing a couple times in a row, it just catches your opponent off guard. And another heel slide into shield. Jules, I don't know if she's showing it on purpose, or she just thinks she can go for it. Uh, this might be a kill, though. Yeah, right off the top. Two witch twists up in the air. I don't know if the SDI was not good or... Amar's just not able to get out of it, but... Oh, this is going to be scary. Jules is going to try and put Amarx in a spot where he's not able to recover. And wow! I'm actually surprised that the tether grab was able to kind of connect at that angle, but it does, and Amarx finds the hit as well. Brings it to two stocks apiece with a bit of a percentage deficit. Jules is going to find a stock here. A bit of a percentage deficit turns into two stocks to one at 0%. A full stock lead from Jules. And she's starting the combos again. Wants to just end this and end it. She does. Jules, a very impressive 3-0 to seal out the tournament. That's going to be 50 bucks for Amarx, 100 for Jules. First place looking good.